What's up, baby? What's up, kids? It's Mr. And y'all know it's Mr. Ramsey. And we wanted to come on here and just say, guys, how are you doing? How are you doing? What have you guys been learning with yes. these lessons that we've been putting on this YouTube channel? Um, it's just been... Wow, a 2021 Valentine's Day just passed. We love you, love you. Well, like what kind of gifts did you get for Valentine's Day? What did you do? Right, did you give your parents gifts? Did you give God a Valentine? Come on, you know, when I was a kid, I remember getting the Valentine's teddy bears with the candy, the chocolates in them. I used to eat all the chocolates. And I used to love them. He still eats all the chocolates. I still eat all the chocolates. Did you eat chocolates? Yes. <laughs> I yes. opened my chocolates uh -huh. and I bit each one and threw it back in there because I was trying to find a certain flavor. Uh uh. You bit you bit every chocolate just to find that one. That... <laughs> yes. Ew, that's nasty. Well, I found it. Well, that's good. Right. It took a million pieces to get to that one. Wow. Isn't that something? It took a million pieces to get to that one. That kind of reminds me that how God looks at us. It does. He will leave the 99. He will. Just for that one. Do you guys remember the story of the ant that we talked about? Yes. And how the ants don't have any rulers or they're, they're under any authority nope. that they do everything on their own? Right. What have you been doing during this time to really build your relationship with God? And spend time with him get to know more about him. Have you guys even asked God, what's my purpose, God? What would you have me to do, Lord? Who am I, God? Which way to go, God? Should I let this person know about you? Should I let that person know about you? God, can I see the angels? Can you hear me when I talk? Right. Do you hear me when I pray? What have you been doing to entertain God, to get into a relationship with him, to let God be your Valentine? Because I know most of you are probably on TikTok. Okay. You're probably on Snapchat. You're probably on Instagram or you're not Facebook because kids don't get on Facebook. But you're on TikTok most of the time and you're just scrolling up, 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 up. But when the last time you scrolled through the Bible by yourself without your parents telling you what to do. Have you really, have you really, ta have you really taken time out to really say, God, here I am, right? Because it's one thing for me and Miss Nastasha to be here every Sunday and to tell you to read your Bible when you take it upon your responsibility to read the Bible on your own. Right. Do you know what that can do in your life, in your relationship with God? He loves to hear from you. Have you ever had a time where you felt like you had a lot to say and there was nobody to tell it to, nobody to listen? Yeah. Mommy and daddy are busy. My brothers and my sisters are busy, mm. but I have a lot to say. When you feel like that, take the time to say, God, can you hear me? Yes. And when you do that, because I know I used to do it because Mustachio was an only child. Mm. And sometimes, a lot of times, my mommy had to work. And sometimes I would be scared yeah. and I would say, God, are you here? Yeah. And I would lay down and I would say, God, can you hold me? Hmm. And I would just talk to him and laugh with him. And whenever I get busy through life now, I go back to those times when I was six and seven and eight and nine and 10 and 11 and all the way up yeah. and say, God, can you hold me? God, how are you? God, yeah. what can I do today? Hmm. Just open up your mouths and talk to him. Tell him he can hear you. And you know, this goes into what we want to share with you today. Dedication. Mm -hmm. Dedicating time to grow your relationship with God. Just because you're five years old, four years old, six years old, seven years old, 11 years old, you understand what we're saying. Yeah, but Mr. Ramsey, a question for you. Mm -hmm. What is relationship? What does a relationship mean? What does a relationship consist of? Relationship consists of two people communicating and growing and building that relation, meaning you are compatible, you are equal, you, you guys can uh, uh, come together on certain topics or conversation and connect. You're connecting with someone or you're connecting with God and he's connecting with you to show you how, it, how you're gonna grow and who he has called you to be. Or even with a friend, that friend, when you're, when, you're, when you're in a relationship with a friend, you're connecting with their friend, you're communicating with their friend, and through that, they show you 
who you really are. It's kind of like math. Mm. And I know a lot of people hate math. Raise your hand if you hate math. Is that your feet? No, it was just one foot. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like math. You know how we say with addition? Yeah. One plus one equals, equals two. No, it equals three, Miss Nastasi. Special. <laughs> one plus one equals two. <laughs> it's kind of like that with God. You want to become one with him, it'll yes. equal two. Yes. And that's the relationship that you're starting. You're creating a meeting with that person, a, a bond with that person. Yes. That's how you can be with God. So say this word with us, dedication. Ready? Count of three. One, two, three. Dedication. dedication. Dedicate your time into spending a time with God, spending time just you and God by yourself. Because let me tell you, there was a story in the Bible in Matthew chapter 17, where Jesus comes down from the mountain with his three disciples. And he tells them to not tell them what they've seen. But watch this though, T further on, uh, when Jesus come down, here is a father with a sick son who is demon possessed. And the father tells Jesus, hey, I went to your disciples and asked them to heal my son, but they couldn't do it. And, the, and Jesus immediately replied and said, you unbelieve generation. And what, what is he saying? He's saying that this generation does not believe. And in order to believe something, you have to dedicate time and to build a relationship with that. Because if you don't build a relationship, you're not going to believe anything that you're that, that that you haven't spent time with. So if you're saying that you are a Christ believer, if you're saying that you believe in God, then you have to spend time with God. He wants to know the very thought that he already knows that's in your head. And if you have a hard time talking to him, mm -hmm. he knows you. So what you can do is either take the time to dedicate time to draw him a picture. Wow, I like that. Take the time to write him a love letter. Mm. Take the time to, even if you're eating lunch, you say, you know, today I'm gonna sit by myself. I'm not gonna sit with anyone. I'm gonna take my lunch. God, I'm dedicating this time to sit here and like eat that. my lunch with you. Yep. And in that time, you can either sing love songs to him. Yeah. You can say love thoughts in your head to him. Mm -hmm. You can just say, I love you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Thank you for this food. Anything. Yeah. Just dedicate the time to him the best way that you know how. Because if it's coming from your heart oh, and yeah. it's truly to him, he's going to love it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, while you're on YouTube, put on a worship song, right? Mm -hmm. You could put on, my God is awesome, he can move mountains. You can put on any song through YouTube while you're worshiping, right. because worshiping is very important as well. It while is. you're dedicating your time with God, you know, because sometimes kids, you guys can get distracted. Like Maybe us. You guys can get distracted like us mm -hmm. and not focus on building that healthy relationship with God. Mm -hmm. So this Sunday and the next Sunday, we guys want you to dedicate your alone time with God because when we come back, we're gonna find out who's been spending time with God mm -hmm. because we know as far as what fruit you are bearing off of your tree. That's right. We know what fruit you are bearing, meaning we'll know when we talk to you who's been studying, mm -hmm. who's been spending time, because we'll be able to see it. Because we're excited about you guys coming back. I know, we're, I, we're come, Ramsey, listen, I miss my baby I'm, so much. Listen, Miss Nastasi, Ramsey, have you heard from the kids yet? No, Stasi, go to sleep. Ramsey, I, 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 I think I hear the kids in my head. Stasi, go to sleep. But it's because we miss you. We miss you and so much. coming back to the church <laughs> and just being able to have fun again and, uh, and come together, just fellowshipping, coming together right. as one and to have conversation, talk about the word, you know, have snacks, all the good you stuff. You just want to eat games. the snacks. You I like just, the fruit snacks. I love the, the snacks. Fruit snacks be so I love the snacks. Be so I love the snacks, 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 <laughs> snacks, snacks. See, they're singing it too. You see? They're definitely not. They are. They, they, uh, yes, they are. But dedicate your time with God during these next two weeks and we'll come back. And by the time that time comes back, listen, it's gonna be a couple of weeks from there till we come back into the church together. It is. And tell your parents to spend time with you. Pray at the dinner table or mm -hmm. pray before you go to sleep. 
get off social media yes. for a week or mm -hmm. or get off Put that those phone. Put tablets down. Put them down and spend time with God. Yes, we have to do it too, guys. Yes. We have to make time throughout our week to put our phones down. And I'm like, hey, hey. Because it be tough. Barbie phone. It be, it be, it be tough sometimes. Sit down. It is tough sometimes. Yep. But you can do it because we believe in you. Yes. And we want an, another thing that we want you to do to start out. When you open your eyes in the morning, mm -hmm. wherever you are, we want you to take the time to say, good morning, Father. Mm. Thank you for waking me up. I like that. Let's practice. Go to sleep. Oh, good, good morning, morning Father. Father. Thank you for waking Thank me up. Thank you for up. waking me up today. We, why are you a silent? That's your Holy Spirit voice? Yeah, that was. Let me hear it again. Good morning, Father. Thank you for waking me up today. Boo! <laughs> I bet the kids are looking at me on the screen like. Feathers. <laughs> what has Mr. Ramsey got going on? Who knows? Right. But seriously, we love you guys. We yeah. just want to take out the time to just love on you, to know yeah. that you are always on the hearts and minds of us. Yes. But most importantly, you're on the hearts and the mind of Jesus. Yes. So we love you. Take care. Yes. It's almost time to come into the building. Ooh, 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 ooh. And while your parents are in church right now, watching online, and you're watching this, go back to your parents and tell them, Mom, Dad, uncle, auntie, whoever, Grandma, it's time for us to dedicate, we need more, to dedicate time more time with Jesus. Let's do it together. Let's do it together. And don't forget to follow God. Love people. And kids, change the city. The city. Boom! Bye, 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 bye.